50 partnership. And they're certainly now looking to up the ante. Barbara Azam really trying to go hard. The trophy. <laughs> You're always after Mufta, Danny. Free popcorn. <laughs> Love the Mufta. <laughs> freebie that's right but the popcorn's good yeah no. <laughs> you get them in karama as well yes ah uh, yapsy there you go confirmation you're right bezard khan i told you mm. he's bought all of them gluttony so seven deadly sins <laughs> Hassan Tullet. Well, he's uh, into his second. He's doing all right. In fact, the bowlers have had a say here, and that's what I've loved about PSL 3 so far. I just wonder where the second half of the tournament go back to Dubai. Uh, back to Dubai, and uh, then back here. And I just wonder if the batsmen will just get a bit more accustomed to conditions and start to have more of a say in this, uh, this season. We haven't seen great piece of bowling really to dismantle opposition. It's just that they've been at times mindless batting. Well, that's a quick delivery. Mohammed Sami. Is, in fact, it's not Mohammed Sami. I it's, see. It's Hussain. The Haas. Yeah, and a, a sharp bouncer. Yeah, Hussain Talat, all rounder. He's the highest scorer for United. We mentioned this before as well, but he's got a really sharp, deceptive bouncer. It doesn't look too quick. But it just sort of hustles you. Great height, wasn't it? A brilliant height. I remember playing here with uh, Wasim and Wakar on placid tracks, and they would go short. They would like uh, that length uh, and test the batsman because mentally you're prepared to be on the front foot, and they would just go short and short and short again. That's a good, strong drive. And that's gone through. We've been raving about how good the fielding has been. This was clapped, but should have been stopped. Came really quickly, but Walton, he's a terrific fielder. Well, he's also a keeper. You know, he, he, he's such an all-rounder. We saw that catch off that uh, free hit. Didn't count, it was a no ball, but that's, that's poor. That's village, as they say on the trade. Shocker. Probably can hear you, Danny. He's just across there. Well, lift your game, chatters. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. Now, that has got to be the fairest hit, the strongest drive of the season. Razam, 31 from 37. They've set it up nicely, 72 for one. Less than eight overs to go. Yeah, lots of bowling options. Patel can come back, Sami has a couple. But he'll be thinking now, because you've got Bopara, you've got Ingram in the bank. So, there's still firepower. It can be a real deal, Khuram Manzoor because uh, he started off a bit anxiously and now in his groove he can hit the ball extremely hard the strike rate has improved it's over 100 now wiping the ball is a bit of dew around yeah a lot of dots in Barbara Azam's knock so far too many oh that's, that's gone it. that's up in the air will this be taken it's a miscue <laughs> and it's dropped it is dropped and gone for four. No! Sue Jones is not happy. There's that red book of Jones. Was it you raving about the fielding in the morning? I was. It has been so sharp up until tonight, I reckon. We've seen some terrific catches. Well, we've also seen fielders, haven't we, here at Sharjah Rambo, have come close to each other and they're not taking it. 
Yeah, I mean, they're missed by just letting them know that you've got to call for it. There were two fielders converging on the ball, JP Dumini and Asif, and uh, well, there's another misfield. It's got to do something with the deal, is it? Jonesy, he's sidelined. Chewing the gum to pieces. <laughs> What's yeah, there. going on here? I, I reckon this, <laughs> as soon as we've come downstairs, they're not feeling, they're under pressure with us. <gasps> yeah, I think you've, you've got to first look at the ball, dewy conditions, so you've got to be uh, holding the ball a little bit more harder in the palms. Well, I'll tell you what, there's that great movie with Denzel Washington in called uh, The Book of Eli. This was the Book of Jones. What is in that book? We'll try and get Spider Cam on it. Well, it's filling up the pages, so a lot of mistakes have been noted. <laughs> and I'm sure in that Go Lutlo strategic timeout, he will have a word or, or two to say to his, his players. It's golutlo.com strategic timeout. Lutlo strategic timeout almost done and dusted in gold. Yeah. Here we go then. Hussein fell it back in again. Oh, gets whacked. That's well feel it. But I'm sure that the tempo will pick up. It has to pick up. Started off well with a little clip on the onside. Just slowed down and settled. Then he's up the ante again. Fantastic hit down the ground. Got lucky as well. Feeling hasn't been great, Baba. He just needs to kick on. Yeah, once again, not middling the ball looks just a little bit frustrated because he's, he's got so much to offer but he's in out of form out of touch and so as a young cricketer that can gets you down a little because you're not being able to showcase or, or uh, your talent and and people have not been talking about barbarism in this year's HBL PSL there's a lot of, lot of songs on my mind <laughs> I know Western songs I'm sorry but just that little you know just the sayings we use and out of touch, out of time. Out of touch, out of time. That's gone. Oh, that's that's it. <laughs> Whoa! Big it! That's so in time. Yeah. Oh, get your dancing shoes on with this one. Get up the stairs and shake it some more for another maximum Bazard car. Timing to perfection. Not out of touch, not out of time. Time perfectly. And it's hit it straight back to ground. Slow one. Hit. Hit on top of the bounce. And it's gone. Yeah, I cleared the front leg and that's the way to hit a six these days. Wait a little on the back leg. It was a slower off cutter that did the distance. 78 meters, but it went long and high. He'll go again, I'm sure. Exposes the stumps and it's thrashed. Walton this time, this time doesn't mess it up. Oh, good strong throw. Chadwick Walton, yeah. Well, he hasn't fielded the best, has he? A great catch the other night. Yeah. Admittedly off a, uh, a free hit. But uh, that misfielding on the boundary in front of us. The other night. Took an absolute blinder. Look at Goalkeeper style. But it's a no ball. Yeah, well balanced. Very stylish is Barbara Azam. There's so many things to like about his batting. Is, is good against spin 
He averages in the 40s in international T20s. He's got good solid temperament at a very young age. He's only 22 or 23. Bats at number three for, for, for the national side. Feels well. Cheddars! Cheddars! Get the dive out, bro. That's your best. <laughs> no nick there. It's 14 down. And nine wickets in hand. So we can expect a fair bit of fireworks in the last few overs. And that's how the trend should have been from early games as well. Oh, that's gone. Six. There's pure timing for you and class as well. Babar Azam likes that area, that V area, that straight hit. Just exemplifies, typifies the talent that Babar Azam is. Here we go again, Bazzard Khan. Give it some. We love dancing. No problem here for Babar Azam. Problem for us, because Danny's going wild. <laughs> Yeah, it's a great shot. Really was tremendous hit and so worries for Miss Bowl Huck. It's all about defense right now at this stage. Even if they pick wickets, they'll not really be able to make inroads. Let's see how their defensive mechanism now works because the certain teams are good when they're aggressive, the certain teams are good defending. Six point eight four the current run rate. Eight and over one forty three, ten and over one fifty four. Two partnership looking for three figures. Just spying into the dugout. You've got Imad Wasim padded up, you've got Ingram padded up. So they're all ready to go. Just one wicket, so the platform set for a real explosion these five last five overs. Yeah, that's his 50. It's a good knock. That'll give him a lot of confidence. It's a mood lifter. 50 from 47. He had to wait for a long time to uh, play a knock like this. And well, it has come. And they would want their number three batsman to be in, in good silky touch. 100 comes up for Karachi Kings as well. Wonderful stuff, Bezid Khan. And as you say, plenty of ammunition to come. Oh, it's racing. Come on, Mohammed Sami. Oh, he gets a slide out. Brilliant. Longest studs, brother. Oh, yeah, good on you. Thank you. I don't think they can hear yeah, you, Daddy. They can. I don't think so. MS. Well done, Chief. <laughs> Jonesy didn't like it, but we loved it. Dino, nothing wrong with that. Makes room, hits it into the gap. That's such a great shot. That really is classy shot. Puram Manzoor is races 50, 51 from 40. Good to see a delightful back foot cover drive. Really is well played. Partnership progressing. Karachi Kings 106 for one. Well, the partnership of 101 has come off 81 balls, and this has been uh, a partnership where both players, Barbara Zam and Kuran Manzoor, have had to work so hard. Manzoor's strike rate is 127. Six fours and a six. Yeah, he's got under this. That's not got the distance. It should be simple catching. And uh, that's a much needed wicket for Islamabad. Well, it certainly is, but uh, the Kings, they do it a little differently. And both batsmen getting to 50. Now one, Karam it is, gets out. But it was worthwhile to continue hitting out and keeping that run rate going up. Just missed time. We've seen a number of them here in Sharjah. It's a very well compiled 51. It's 107 for two. Come in to... Uh, up the tempo, it's Ingram. 
Oh, that's a, a parry, but it's been picked up by Chadwick Walton. There's a touch of snooker on the field there. Oh, the Bart bulldozer comes out. So let's see if he can get that left hand slogging straight away because it's just a beautiful platform, isn't it? Karim Manzur just out for 51. Babar's been excellent, 52 or 49, and there's a lot of Wilco fans out there, Mick. Oh, that's a dead ring out. That is fantastic. It's almost like, Wilco, you have sat in front of him. You know how you do those portraits? You sit in front of them, and then they start sketching you. Absolutely perfect, Tahir. I believe it's the cover of his book. So Tahir has nailed you. little sneak preview there. And you need to go down and sign that to Tahir. Where are they? Where's that? Where are the boys? Where are you? Where are you, fellas? Give us a wave. Give us a wave. Can we find them? PJ, are you on camera, PJ? Yeah. Up, above me? Yeah. Ah, and, there. And, and what's really nice is that I'm, it, they've... I'm coming over. They've, they've kept their Botox look, which is very true. <laughs> yes. Alan Wilkins. Yes. Yes. Well, well done. So ten and over gets into 151. See Manzua just not quite getting that in the middle of the bat. Easy catch in the end, but it was a fine knock. Excellent knock. Really good partnership. And eight wickets in hand. They can accelerate from here. Is there an under edge there? And they think there is, they think there is, and uh, they're going to challenge this. I just wonder whether there was a, a flick on the way through, Flem. Well, Luke Ronke, he, he just went up straight away, so he must have heard something. Let's see if there's going to be a deflection there. But it'd be a good over, get a couple and just fight back here for Islamabad United. He just lost a little bit of momentum, so no ball. Legitimate delivery, that's fine. Oh, uh, under edge, that's what we're looking for. We're just... Just looking for a flick. So, uh, ultra edge is the one. Ultra edge is the one. Is there a disturbance in the line suggesting a noise? Get it up there, Michael. Let's have a look. Yep. Yep. Ultra edge. He's just moving up and down a little bit there. It was a loud noise. There wasn't much of a deflection, was there? So it was a feather, but it was loud. You need to change Umpires because there Tim is Robinson clear evidence on screen. Back involves. Give it out. Give it out. Thank you, Kim. And it gives him. So good success there from Fahim with the ball Colin Ingram not happy he's got to go he's out for one it's a hundred so uh, three wickets down now two very quickly and of course we know that'll slow things down the Kings I like the balance I like the way they go about things and they find a way to get that total that will be hard to chase down their preference is to bat first they would have bowled first today there's a bit of dew around they believe that uh, they were sent in that one has been nailed. So Barb has got himself going really well. It's good to see him in form. Just angled across here too, and Ingram trying to hit it over square leg, and it must have been so faint. He might not have actually felt it, but there was a loud noise. Ronke, the wicketkeeper, he's straight up. That's a regulation one for him. A good look at it, just dipping on the way to Luke Ronke. Well, here we go. There's no bigger name in the game than Alan Wilkins. Well, he's so chuffed that someone has taken the time to draw him, sketch him so beautifully. And the fact that he didn't want to commentate with his phlegm.
And he refutes he refutes the rumours that he actually drew it himself, Michael, that he has planted that with uh, two young fans and uh, he's going to actually sign his own drawing of himself. Yeah, anytime you're ready, Al. No, we can't hear you, mate. He calls himself Alan Benno these days. Anytime you're ready, Al. Yes. We've got a ball being bowled, mate. Yes, yes, please. My goodness. Is he slowing down a bit? Oh, he's a live performer. He won't do any pre-taping. He'll do it live. He's a left-hander. That's where he swung the ball down there in Cardiff in his heyday. And, uh, oh, I don't know. Is that his signature? Is he actually doing the right one there? Well, he's changed it to A. Benord. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well done, Al. And well done to Tahir. Would have taken a fair bit of time for Tahir. Oh, he's hit that in the screws. Beautiful stroke. Beautiful stroke there from Bopara. So it's been a good half a dozen over overs for the Karachi Kings. This run rate gets into 140. Yeah, they're, they're placed really well. I mean, we're getting down to 3.2 overs remaining with seven wickets in the bank. So I, I reckon the formula to get that score is a good one that they use. You can maybe go hard early with a new ball. If that doesn't work, they'd stay patient. Wickets in the bank, go hard right at the end. In the middle phase, knock it around, take that four ball, take the calculated risk, but don't lose too many wickets. Now, you know, the fact here is that Alan Wilkins should be on commentary with us. He's done the beautiful thing to go down and sign that. But now, he is standing there having selfies. So he said, I'm going to be the professional going down and do that. And I tick, that's awesome. Now, to be the professional, look at him. Alan, you are on commentary. You are on commentary. He's not the only one that's been doing some sketching either. That's in the air, not quite in the middle of the bat. Midwicket are getting a lot of catches in this tournament. And it's taken. Hussain picks up a wicket. And Babar, the excellent innings from the number three, comes to an end. But he's put the Kings in a beautiful position, though. Yeah, it's that shot again, isn't it? It's that real take to the onside. And the pitch doesn't come on. It's got a bit of a two-pace nature to it. Some will slide, and then it tends to very much slow up and has done for the last few overs. zam has gone for 55. It's 118 for four. He's out there now, and uh, no time to get any ciders. Three overs remaining. Head and shoulders move for a million, continues. And here's another look at the miscued onside shot obviously looking for the stadium into the stand comfortably taken that's how Curran got out as well the power on strike and he's been playing nicely really experienced isn't he Bopara and he'll know exactly what to do here he'll still have a focus on the boundaries but at worst he's going to rotate the strike but they're up against Mohamed Sami, who's been excellent throughout the tournament again. Eight wickets, stump to stump, bowling with pace, knocked over Denley earlier on tonight. And Ahmad, the Kings captain, they're enjoying themselves in the HBL box there. Plenty of dancing and drumming. Not such uh, an exciting experience to face Sammy at his best. Well, that'll be wide. Doesn't have to be far down the leg side. So, uh, extra ball to be bowled. Have to know the percentage of the extra balls that then get hit to the boundary. And uh, Alan Benno is back in the commentary box nice of you to come back mate we saw you just having selfie after selfie and i kept saying al you're on air but you have to please the people 
Well, you know what? The, the fans out there, Flem and Slats, they're all asking when, when are they going to see the Australians? And I said, any, any moment. But either of you would go and say hello. They're very grateful that you've made the journey from down under. No, I think you're just making it up now. You are the people's champ. They just want to see you. They want to draw you. And uh, well done to the young fella. Did the, how long did it take him to draw that? Told me it took him six hours. Six hours six to hours. draw that sketch. Wow. Yeah. What a subject you are. What a subject. What a shot. Chadwick Walton, the ball beats him. And man, that was just class. What a way to get off the bat, off the mark, I mean, jeez, let's have another look at that, please. Cross seam, angle, great swing of the bat, full face of the bat, beautiful timing. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? We talk about like a pace in this pitch, and then you see a shot like that, which is on the up, playing late. Coach Jones is not happy. Get back on the rope. Bit of Saturday night fever there Ooh, from the coach, geez. wasn't it? A bit of Johnny Travolta. It's all right. I don't mind seeing a little bit of emotion from the coach. But, yeah, gee, he's fuming, isn't he, Soup? Oh, Misbah, not quite as animated as his team's coach but here he is he's got air traffic control signals going shout say something captain in t20 cricket must be a nightmare though boys if the fieldsmen aren't watching you and you've got a couple of little set plays gee they're putting their heads down for two and they'll go oh trouble at that end though trouble at that end good fielding to throw to the keeper as well was it Walton I reckon he might be short yeah blow two if it's Bapara I think he's gone he was always going to be struggling there was never a second oh lights up now it's just shy just shy of the crease and it's a big wicket as he's so different in or difficult to bowl to in this phase of the game no, Baparo's on his way. That's the fifth wicket down. And they're running out of overs. They're 126. Five 150s on here, Slats. No, oh, it's definitely on. Oh, in this position, you'd be disappointed. Any less than one full five. Ooh, wide and swinging. And uh, Mohamed Sami's got away with that. End of uh, the over. 18 gone. Bullet straight. It's only going to be one, though. So they pushed hard, particularly Ahmad was the one, in and out. And Bopara, he backed his partner, he'd stopped. And it was so close, it was a good dive, wasn't it, in the end? Good quick hands from Ronke, though. Zingbal's flying and a run out. Bonus, wickets falling here. That's a good way to stop this run rate accelerating to a level of 150. At this stage, they're going to need a couple more boundaries to get to that 145 target. Uh, always a tight two, wasn't it? But that little beat where he stopped the par up, that's all it took. Oh, look at that. Inside edge. Can't sell a feel to that. Perfect shot. <laughs> it's the perfect shot because you never have a backstop, do you? That's under 12s. There we go. So close to the stumps, but if it doesn't hit the stumps, it's going to run away for four. And they move to 1-3-2. It's going to be hard to chase down from here. Yeah, Miss Bar's going to have some work to do with the bat. It was just inches, an inch, two inches maybe. And not even the despairing dive could save Papara. Helped on its way for one. Don't forget you can find uh, you can find us on Facebook forward slash the PSL and YouTube just look for Pakistan Super League official 
uh, Twitter, it's uh, the yeah. PSLT20, and Instagram Slats, that's your territory. You're on there, aren't you? The, the yeah, PSL. I, well, I like Insta because you can send out photos, MJ underscore Slats, and I just get things out that I think that are of interest. Just that's to... three votes in the social media self-promoter award. Right there, three votes. Well, how Michael do people Slater. know it? That's going to go. That beats the inner ring, it's four. That's three votes in the full boundary promotion. This one just coming out. Six off three balls. The skipper's got something to think about. Just hit the gap beautifully. Angling in, hitting with the angle. Wasn't even really that short, but there's a big gap between fine leg and the man in front of square leg. It's a good shot. Just a fraction short again. Now Rizwan knows he could have made more of that. He knows that that was really the ball to, to hit squarer maybe and get the boundary. I, 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 the way the Kings go about it, I've said it, I think they've got a, a healthy squad. They find a way to get the total. And obviously they've got a big job in the field and if there's a bit of dew, it'll be hard. Yeah, and this is uh, Imad Wazim, who's uh, playing captain of Karachi, playing against his home city, Islamabad. Oh, he's rolled him over. Bahim gets his man, and he gets the skipper. New ball straight enough, and if they swing and miss, he's yours. Imad hit the ball quite sweetly for his 10, but... Good bowling there from Fahim. He's picked up three wickets for just 23 runs and the old adage, they miss you hit. Oh, it might have been just a little inside edge, but the Zingbales are flying. Well bowled, excellent four overs. No surprise that Mohamed Sami is going to bowl the final over. He's the man who leads the bowlers with the highest percentage of dot balls. <laughs> Oh, well fielded, well fielded and a good throw as well and just scamper home for two. Yeah, Rizwan, how quick was he? But no hesitation, but he's uh, hurt himself. What's that? He's back, lower back. It's, uh, he's dived, there's desperation to get into the crease and he's hurt himself, that lumbar spine. Doctor? Well, I mean, he has crashed here. He's crash landing and he oh he's jarred it there isn't he he's really I, it's not quite my territory phlegm geez he slid a long way thought he was in trouble big dive and he's safe well safely in his crease i don't know how safe he is at the moment with his back yeah i, I wonder whether he's hit so hard and clicked something out here he is he's up unusual for the back to go in that circumstance and talking to Darren Sammy yesterday in commentary how much fun was that we thought it was that the knee that was another look at the inside edge under the stunts but we thought it was when he dropped the catch and we saw that right knee hit it was actually him falling on the pitch and that hard surface that's what did the damage the other problem here for uh, Karachi's Mohamed Rizwan who's got the back problem he's got to keep wicket Imad Razim just getting a little inside edge but this is the keeper for uh, Karachi as well and he was a, law, a Lahore Kalanda in the last PSL Flem was talking just then about uh, Mohamed Sami he's got the highest percentage of dot balls in the PSL 51% Mohamed Sami, he's even ahead of Tamal Mills. Sean Tate pops in there, look. Mohamed Irfan, Wahab Riaz. Good looking shot, he's whacked this for four. Yeah, I reckon that's pole position for the hardest ball hit tonight. That just flew off Rizwan's bat. So I think his back's okay, the cross seamer on about eighth stump, and he had the ability and the power, set himself back. Good swing, a lot of bottom hands. He hammered that for four, so no dot ball there. 
I, I've got the old uh, curse, haven't I? Mohamed Sami's up there, 51% dot ball percentage. That's that's fantastic. Ahead of even Wahab Riaz. Oh, we've kept saying 150, haven't we? <laughs> it's 144. It might be right. There we go. 150's up. Three balls remaining. You've got to stop talking about the dot balls because he's gone for boundaries. Wow, the 150 truck is revved up. Luke Ronke's not. But Rizwan, 19 off 7 deliveries and didn't even launch. Bad delivery, short of a length, same sort of line. So similar shot, but this time he was able to get some elevation. And it's goodbye, White Kookaburra ball. Yeah, and he's done that with uh, a bad back. Right, we're not going to talk dot balls anymore, are we, Mohamed Sami? It's gone 2 4 6. He's clipped him leg side and it'll just be one. Well, I tell you, he, he worked that beautifully. That was a pretty good Yorker. But he has uh, whacked that. He's absolutely whacked that. But straight to the man. Either side, that was another four. Big over, 13. Two balls remaining. It looks imposing, doesn't it, on the pitch where early on uh, all the batsmen at that 100 run partnership they had to work hard for those runs. Right, Irfan Jr. is in, he's, uh, he's got two balls to make a big name for himself, maybe get rid of the junior. Sammy bangs it in, Walton is the fielder. Good result that I think for the Kings. The big quick got down the other end and Rizwan 20 off eight deliveries. And just even that ball that he hit straight to square leg, Mick, that, that absolutely flew. So it's that area it's going to be targeted for Sammy. Can he get that wide Yorker? He's, I think his line's been all right, but he hasn't got his length right at all. Yeah, well, he's bowling pretty good Yorkers, wasn't he, in that super over and the death he's uh, he'll, he'll, he'll sh shorten them up but he's got a good Yorker as well oh it's a bad ball he's lucky that he's got his fine leg a bit squarer because that was a poor delivery from Sammy innings close and Karachi Kings have been put into bat have posted an imposing score against Islamabad United. This is going to take some getting, but Karachi Kings in their 20 overs, 153 for six. Right, let's go downstairs, get a, a Karachi perspective here with uh, Kurum Manzoor. He's with Zainab. Half century for Khurram Manzoor. Uh, Khurram, you are coming from domestic form. You have not seen so much score, but today it was that you are in your form. Just say that you have tried to get the pitch condition a little difficult. You are not coming to the ball so easily. It's a low bounce wicket. But you are saying that being a professional, you are trying to adopt the same condition. And you are trying to perform. So what was my role to strike rotate, I have tried to get the ball and helped me. अच्छा ये बताएं कि normally अभी तक जो हमने शाहजहाँ की pitch देखी है उसपे ज़्यादा score high scoring games नहीं देखी ये जो pitch है कुछ different है पिछली जो अभी तक matches हों नहीं इसमें ये कहने के pitch तो almost last दो दिनों में जैसी दिख रही थी वैसे ही है क्योंकि इसमें low bounce रह रहा है ball और जहाँ तक रही बात बाबर की उसकी contribute है मेरे साथ जिस तरह वो international cricket में runs कर रहा है तो support मिलती है कि ऐसा एक player है जो किसी भी एक ओवर में boundaries मारता है और आप पे pressure कम हो जाता है तो उसकी और मेरी partnership बहुत जरूरी थी जो उसने बोला अच्छे तरीके से guide भी किया और साथ दिया और कोशिश कर रहे थे कि हम at least ह अच्छा ये बताएं कि लास्ट ईयर से अब तक में कराची किंग्स में सबसे ज़्यादा सबसे बड़ा डिफरेंस क्या है? डिफरेंस तो कुछ भी नहीं है ये कहलें कि बस कोशिश कर रही है कि एज ए ऑफिशियल या एज ए प्लेयर सारे के जेल हुए में और कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि अच्छी क्रिकेट खेलें और जिस दिन जो मैच हो उसको फोकस करें पूरे टूर्नामेंट पे फोकस नहीं कर रहे हैं मैनेजमेंट का भी यही है कप्तान का भी है और टीम के स्पेशली सीनियर्स प्लेयर्स जितने भी हैं वो प्रो हो या शाहिद भाई हो जो भी सीनियर प्लेयर सबका वैसे ही है कि जिस दिन हम मैच खेलना है उस दिन अच्छी क्रिकेट खेलनी है Chale, uh, thank you so much uh, for your time and uh, all the best. Thank you. Well, we had the half centuries from uh, Kuramanzur, 51 from 41.
Babar Azam 55 from 53. And Mohamed Rizwan, those runs at the end could prove absolutely crucial here. 21 from 9. Just two extras. And uh, the bowling. Well, Summit Patel, four overs of left arm spin for 32. Sammy was expensive tonight. One for 38. Fahim Ashraf, three for 23 and four. Excellent numbers, though. Shut up. Four overs, none for 25. And uh, Hussein Talat, one for 34 and four. So the uh, Karachi Kings have got a total to defend. Islamabad have got to go here. The required run rate will start at 7.7. .7. They're chasing 154.